five vessels were hit and so uh, it was a, I mean, what a shock it was for the nation including the vessel that you were on it was i mean i think i think when uh, sheffield was sunk that mm. was the first time many of the people realised this was a real war. I knew it was going to happen because I'd been up to Northwood. Margaret Thatcher had released two and a half billion from the reserve and I knew what the Argentinians were like and I thought there's going to be a fight but most of the sailors didn't really think there would be and I think this release of two and a half billion by the way if I may say today because there are parallels with Ukraine. Yeah. Goodness me the, you know, Margaret Thatcher released two and a half billion at 1982 prices this government doesn't seem to be really doing anything about more money for defence. Anyway, no, we'll come issue. back to that we'll come back to that issue. but you're on um, HM Miss Arden, yep. you're hit. Well, we, I, we led the task force, in the amphibious force, into Falkland Sound. Uh, we went down, because I had a long-range gun and I was good at naval gunfire support, we were detailed off to go and support the SAS, who were doing a diversionary raid. We fired 170 salvos into Goose Green, destroyed five Picaras on the runway, which stopped them taking off, destroyed most of their napalm, which is illegal, but we didn't mm. want to drop our troops, and we let the SAS withdraw safely because we were bombarding. Then we went into the middle of Falkland Sound where these air raids really started building up. There were 63 air attacks on the first day, 17 against my ship. We were straddled by bombs. We were hit by bomb which went straight through the ship. We had bombs in us that were unexploded and, and several went off. And as the day went on, so we took more yeah. and more damage. Um, and finally, I lost all power and I was running towards the coast and, uh, and I made some men run up the folks. We released the anchor and so the anchor bit and we were on a single anchor, leaning over, on fire, sinking by the stern. I talked to some of my heads of department. It was quite clear that the ship was likely to explode at any moment, like Antelope did, the famous pictures. Um, and so I made the decision to abandon ship, which is a very difficult decision because as a captain, you know, your ship is your grey mistress. You spend more time with no, her absolutely. than you do with your yeah. wife. No, it was a and, uh, and you had to make that decision. But I'd lost 22 of my boys already. I had 30 injured. And I knew I'd just lose more of my men, uh, and uh, and so I made that. It was a very hard decision. When I when we sort of, I got off the bow onto another ship, I I didn't want to go, and I was dragged off by a couple of guys because it was the last one to get off the ship because I just couldn't face going. And I have to say, my wife, who I'm sure didn't mean it, when I got back, she said, "Shouldn't you have gone down with your ship?" Which actually <laughs> reinforces it. I know she didn't mean it really.